Hi, I'm Kristen Best, and today on Next Time, we're taking a giant leap forward with innovative and efficient systems for this house that we're remodeling. We're looking at replacing the water heater, the furnace, and the air conditioning system, making them much more efficient. And with us today, we have Matt Reisinger, who is a builder and expert on Ream Equipment. Matt, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Kristen. I really appreciate it. Well, Matt, let's talk about this giant system we've got right here. <laughs> this is replacing a 30-year-old system that we had here. Um, tell us why this system was chosen for this specific house. Well, first, Kristen, let's look at the big picture. You know, we're replacing three systems in this house. We're replacing the furnace, the air conditioner, and the water heater. And on a 30-year-old house like this, that equipment is going to account for about 65% of the annual energy use for this house. So those three pieces of equipment have a giant piece of the utility bill here. And replacing them out with really high efficiency ream equipment like we're doing is going to make a big difference in the overall utility cost for this house. First, let's talk about the furnace, which is up in the attic. We couldn't film up there, it was a little bit tight. It was. <laughs> but the furnace up there is 96% efficient. So basically, for every dollar of gas we put in this gas furnace, 96% of that is translated into heat for the house. Most houses in America have 70 to 80% efficient equipment, so we're losing a ton of heat straight up that flue, and it's not going to heat the house. This ream equipment's gonna make a big difference. And outside here, this air conditioner, this is a two-stage unit. You know, in California, where we are here today, there's a lot of mild days like today where we might need a little bit of air conditioning, but we don't need the full amount of air conditioning that this unit can provide. So a two-stage unit's gonna make a big difference in efficiency. It can run on low speed. It can be that turtle that's low and slow and running out running at a lower speed, using less electricity, and providing cooling for the house. And another benefit to that is it's also gonna provide better dehumidification when it's running on that low speed because it's gonna run longer, the coil is gonna get cold and suck that moisture out of the house. This is really top of line equipment. And on a house like this that's 30 years old, it's gonna make a giant difference in the electric bill. Let's go check out the really efficient water heater we've got. Okay, let's do it. So Matt, here is the water heater. We're in the garage of the mm -hmm. project house, and we've got this new water heater here. We've replaced an old 30-year-old water heater. Yeah. Okay, this thing it was, was time. <laughs> it was time. And I know this is much more efficient, but can you tell us in general what's happened with water heaters in the last five or 10 years? Yeah, so Chris, in this house, this model replaced a 30-year-old unit. So we've got a giant leap forward in efficiency. But don't forget, water heater codes have changed in the last couple of years. And so this model, even if it was replacing a five-year-old unit, is gonna be quite a bit more efficient. Two things, it's got a power damper up here. This is gonna bring a little bit more efficiency out of a unit like this. Basically, it's got a damper that closes over the flue. So as this unit is burning gas and making hot water, that flue gases are running up through that flue. And when it's done, when that burner shuts off, it throws a damper over top of that to keep the heat in and to capture a little bit more of that heat. Besides this unit being ultra efficient, Kristen, this one is a smart water heater. We've got this Econet controller right here on the side, and you can see with that wire, it's connecting to the water heater's controls. So now this unit that might be in a basement or an out of the way attic or somewhere in the garage that you're gonna set and forget on an older model, this model now, instead of having to come to the garage to change it, everything is gonna go through our Econet system. And now all the controls, all the monitoring and notifications are gonna come either to the main house controller or to my smartphone app. So Matt, this um, Econet device has mm -hmm. two sets of wires. Besides the control wire that's controlling the unit, you see this additional white wire right here, which runs along the base and actually into the overflow plan. That's a leak detection wire. So let's say if we had a plumbing pipe above this unit that was leaking and that water was dripping down, as soon as water touches that wire, it's gonna send an alert through the Econet system, either to my phone or to the house's control system, and it's gonna tell me, hey, we've got a problem. And anytime a leak happens, it's an expensive event. In fact, the insurance industry estimates $4,000 is what it costs to fix a leak problem with all the associated damage. And with this system, if we've got a problem, it's gonna alert me quickly. I can get out to the garage and I can turn off the water. Or what a big difference that's gonna make on a unit like this. So Matt, let's talk about this particular size unit for this particular home. This mm -hmm. home's three bedroom, two bath, two story, 2,300 square feet, kind mm -hmm. of a typical size. Yep. Um, why this size unit? So Reem makes these in both a 40 and a 50 gallon unit. But for a house of this size and for its needs, 
40 gallons is plenty. If we put the 50 in here, we might end up having excess capacity that's not needed. In other words, we're making more hot water than the house can really use. So we wanna get the smallest unit that's gonna work for the house. That's gonna to lead to a lower utility bill. So for a three bedroom, two bath house, 40 gallon is all you need. Both the 40 and the 50 gallon unit have a giant burner at the bottom. This is a 40,000 BTU burner. So we've got 40 gallons of hot water in here, but the engine that makes that hot water, the 40,000 BTU burner is giant. So when this tank is drained and it's filled with cold water, it's gonna heat up very, very quickly. They call that first hour recovery. And this unit has a great first hour recovery model. So Matt, here we go. This is where we've installed the uh, Econet controller, and I'm excited to see a demo and to kind of learn what it does. Yeah, this is a big deal. This is a game changer, Kristen. This controller right here is the only one that I know of that will control both the heating, the cooling, and the hot water in this house. This is a really big deal. A couple of stats for you. Number one, if you're using the Ream electric system and you're combining it with Econet, we're talking about $107 estimated savings a year. That's by using the Econet system, which is is gonna put you in energy saver mode. It's gonna give you the ability to go on vacation mode. That's really a great savings just by controlling that unit smartly. This water heater can pay for itself easily over its lifetime with that $107 a year in savings. So if you combine that water heater savings with a ream connected furnace and air conditioner, now we're talking about an overall energy savings of 15 to 20%. How does that calculate in dollars over the year? Yeah, great question. So an average American house is using between twenty-five and twenty-six hundred dollars. That's two hundred and eighty to four hundred and fifty dollars. That's a lot of money. If you if you average that out over ten years of that savings, that's three thousand and maybe forty five hundred dollars. That's half the equipment cost. This this is really an upfront investment that's gonna pay for itself. Does the Ream Econet system connect with other automation systems like Wink or Nest? Yeah, so they've, they've got an open API for this, which means they've already partnered with Nest, with Logitech, and with Wink, and I think there's more to come. Okay, so here's our Econet system here. So of course we can control our water heater and our heating and cooling right from this app. We can control all the settings right here, just like a normal one. And then we also can change the modes from here as well. We can get alerts on service. We can check the status. There's lots of good geeky information in here. So Matt, let's talk about the app that comes with the Econet system. What else can we do besides temperature changes? Kristen, I've got this awesome app for my phone right here that can control all the settings. And this is beyond just temperature settings. We've got some energy management settings here that this app is really good for. Here's the Ream app on my phone right here. It's gonna take me to both systems that are installed in the house. So here's our heating and our cooling right there. And there's our hot water heater. Number one, I've got vacation mode here on the phone. So if we're heading to the airport, let's say tomorrow we're leaving for a week, boom, I can set this to vacation mode right here on my phone. Just hit the vacation button on there. And then we can schedule the vacation right here. Here's when we're gonna start it. Here's where we're gonna end it. We can change all the temperatures on that. We can select which system we're using to move that. This is really nice. And of course it all works integral to my phone. Everything's super easy to change. I can set my water heater to idle while I'm gone. It's not gonna be wasting money on hot water that's not gonna get used. And the day before I get home, it'll turn it back on so that when I get home that morning, I'm all set for a hot shower. The nice thing I like about this app is it's got a couple other settings, energy saver mode and performance mode. So energy saver mode, it's gonna make hot water in the morning. When I'm gone during the day, it's gonna set the water heater back and not make as much. But then when I get home, it's gonna heat up and get ready for my family to have a busy night. And then performance mode, that's where I've got company coming over. Let's say I've got three or four extra guests in the house. It's gonna make sure that water heater is working at top performance and making all the hot water my family's gonna need. So would this app work well for multiple houses also? That's one great feature about this system, Kristen. This app and our controller can manage multiple properties. But if we add another property, it would just be on this drop down screen right here. We can select any one of those systems and go into everything that's installed on that house. So I can get my vacation property. I can maybe get my elderly parents house on this app and I can get my rental property all on this one place so I can control everything right from this section here. So does this system have a leak detection alert as well? Remember that white wire we saw at the bottom of the water heater? If that wire comes in contact with water, it's gonna send an alert right to the app on my phone and I'm gonna get notified right away. Okay, now let's go to the um, alerts on here. This is gonna tell me if I've got a problem with my system, if I need maintenance, or of course, I've got that great leak detection. That alert's gonna show up right here on the app on my phone. 
Now let's go back and show what's happening with the heating and cooling with the house. We can also change, just like the temperature on the water heater, the heating setting or the cooling setting. We can change the modes right here as well. And of course we can do all our scheduling right here in the app as well. We can go to each specific day of the week and change those settings. Everything's super easy to use. You know, the insurance industry says that every time a water leak happens, it's typically a $4,000 problem. And if I can get an alert on my phone right away that there's a problem there, I can go to the location, shut off the water, and I can avoid that expensive damage. Matt, thanks so much for being with us today and for walking us through this great system. We're really excited about it. Thanks, Chris, and I appreciate having me. And I think this Ream Econet system is gonna make a giant boost in the efficiency for this older house. I do too. Thanks so much. Definitely.